What's up guys, so I, I know it's been pretty late for a Bleach video and the current events are ending, but you know, honestly, it has been it has been a pretty crazy week. So I had a lot of stuff going on in real life. Um, then Naruto Online, which I pretty much mostly do now, uh, since I shifted away from Bleach, it, has, it had pretty much a huge update, which was like 2.0 and it completely revolutionized the game. So ever since 2.0 came out, I honestly have missed out a lot of days on Bleach. Um, I had to spend coupons just to get my sign-ins back. And the funny thing is, I almost lost my Mugetsu title. So I'm really like down to 43k prestige. And I'm at the point where I have to check every time for the arena chest when I get on. Because if I miss uh, like two more arena chests, I'm pretty much screwed. And I will lose my Mugetsu title. So that's the thing I really don't like about when it comes to Bleach. Um, Unlimited Ninja based is basically... Bleach Online was based off Unlimited Ninja. But in Unlimited Ninja, you don't drop ranks even if your prestige hits zero. And here, you actually get deranked and go to the rank before. So it's really just, I really don't like that about it. Um, I also haven't, I haven't done events or like anything in a week. I've, I've honestly just been neglecting Bleach uh, ever since the 2.0. So I apologize about that. And, you know, the lack of the video as well. So what I'm going to do is give you guys, you know, the last minute kind of video for these events. And then show you guys the events for next event cycle. Because um, I have my birthday party earlier by a week since my friends are flying out and i also pretty much won't be able to do a, a video for the next events until probably like sometime halfway into them as well so might as well just go over them for you guys today um and just cover everything in a the video then i also have a bleach bracelets video coming out which has been a few months since i did a video on that game uh and then naruto blazing is something new i'm gonna try to start you know they're not gonna be like big games i'll just do a video here and there um i honestly just don't want to you know keep doing this kind of mobile games every day or, you know, just uh, every week. Just when something cool comes out, maybe something happens, um, people request something to maybe do that. So as far as any Bleach news for this week, I did not hear anything. I didn't pay attention to the forms much either. Uh, but next events seem definitely a lot better than these ones. So the biggest change as far as Bleach goes is they basically changed the server groups for... Um, each server, so I'm no longer linked up to server 1. I'm guessing it's back to like whatever the 50 servers I was in. I'm not going to be able to actually find out until ultimate charge and then see how far it goes. Um, so make money ended, so you were only able to redeem stuff. Limited purchase is also an event. I think it got a slight rework. Yeah, I think it got a slight rework, but it's never been anything too crazy. Um, I, still have the, I still have the Brazil Bleach account. And on the Brazil Bleach account, you can get, like, Mega Furies and Super Furies here. So that's why this event is really good. This Lucky Slot Machine, I always forget to do it. But honestly, this Lucky Slot Machine feels pointless uh, for just, you know, people that are not... At least not only free players can actually benefit off this, to be honest. Because you can't upgrade it in the Senju shop. Uh, and at the same time, it pretty much... Yeah, it just it doesn't upgrade. So you do need to get yourself Cyclones. And, you know, we're praying that Chinese New Year... For Go games, is going to be something new. Like, a new Zanpakuto, maybe. I don't know. Um, something cool. And then, limited lease. You know, I see everybody getting more Raijin, Yorichis, and your watches. It's really easy to do it. But honestly, I would not purchase them from these events. I would just rent them. You know, who cares if you, like, rent them for two weeks or three weeks? Pick them up in an event that's actually worth getting them from. Because, you know, spending purely 50k on Raijin... Or 40k on a watch and not getting any items or anything like that. It's honestly pretty bad. So I would just, you know, if you're going to go for those, save up. But they're pretty much the end game ninjas at this point. Um, Rio Guardians. Well, I actually haven't even been stacking Vitality. Because I just haven't logged in in so long. Or, you know, I haven't actually been logged in to do anything. Um, Raptures of Cohen is here as well. Uh, this Bankai Kisuke has been here forever. You know, this event's pretty decent when it comes to getting some recharge rewards. And I never really spent on it personally, but, um, you know, you could get yourself some level 12 stones. And I think they also had equipments. Um, this one gives you level 10 spirit stone boxes, which is actually a pretty good value. And the ones in the middle, I they're really all just useless. They're really not worth spending for. Um, it's just pretty much pure items for your bag and just whatever else you want to come across. But these give you equipment sets, ultimate sets, pretty good. Um, it's actually pretty expensive, though. I mean, for 12k, that's like full price. But, let us just continue into the next week events, so it's still, I'm guessing it's still going to be a 50% rebate, it's not going to change. They only do like 80% or 100%, which we finally had 
on special time. So it's going to be always 50% from now on. So the next events, all right, we're going to have ourselves ultimate charge, bleach gift, joint task. Then you also have the send you moral arsenal to pick up like ultimate equipments and accessory sets. Personally, picking up ultimate equipments like the 140s, you should probably wait for a better discount and just go for an event that gives you a ton of items for it because it's really not the greatest. Um, but ultimate charge is interesting. You know, they bring in a human Komomura, which just came out last month. He's a 40k recharge and ultimate charge, so it's actually a pretty good way to pick him up. Um, you know, I actually do like the idea of Human Komomura. I think he's a good Vanguard. You know, he costs twice as much as Kukaku. Maybe even more than twice as much. Um, if you do manage to catch him in a good event. But, you know, he, he does have his perks. And I think he's immune to Mutilate as well. And just has massive growth rates, all this kind of stuff. So he's actually pretty solid. You know, I actually don't... I actually do like the idea of him. Um, so it's actually, you know, nice to have a new Vanguard. Because Vanguards are very rare. If you notice, Vanguards come out maybe... Two, three times a year. They don't come out that often. And as far as all the other events, honestly, it's just, you know, accelerated modifier restarts. Um, and, you know, I don't know what else to expect from Joint Task and Bleach Gift. They kind of change Joint Task so many times. So not really sure what to expect. But besides that, you know, the events probably seem a little bit better next week. Um, I would just still, still say hold out until Chinese New Year if you really want to recharge. I mean, who knows what they're going to bring out. You know, I'll be surprised if they bring out, like, that Bankai Kenpachi. Because I'm, I'm still waiting for that. I want to see what they're going to do as far as the stats and growth rates do. Um, and, you know, apart from that, I'm really curious to see what the Zanpakuto is going to be. I mean, everyone's assuming that since Cotton came out last year on Chinese New Year, we might actually get a new Zanpakuto. And then around the same time as Ryuji Jaka, July, sometime like June, July, August. We might get ourselves a second Zanpakuto. So maybe you'll see two Zanpaktos a year. Um, it's not really a good schedule to follow through. But based on, you know, the information that we have, that's kind of the way we assume things here. So I would kind of say, you know, it'll be nice to get something new into the game. Um, Ryuji and Jaka is already a pretty insane Zanpakuto. So how are you going to top Ryuji and Jaka? Might as well be some super overpowered Kyokai Suigetsu. So, you know, Nozarashi, Benihime. Who knows, honestly, like, there's still a lot of cool Zanpaktos they could do. Um, but the problem is it's going to basically be like Ryuji and Jaka, you know, they're going to design it. So, <laughs> you know, the funniest thing would be if, you know, Nozarashi is going to be a Yichiru. Um, so, like, what if they just do, like, a little Yichiru, like a lolly following you around? It'd be pretty pretty hilarious. But, like, the Ryuji and Jaka, you just put a Yamamoto with, like, a black shadow and just, you know, flames going around him. So it's kind of funny that you have to basically design the concept for it. I will be curious to see how they design Kyoka Suigetsu because Aizen is, you know, one of the most overpowered Bleach characters in in history, but you really just don't know what he can do. You never really see his powers. You never see his Anpakuto. You don't even know who his spirit is. So it's honestly interesting into how they're going to design it and what the effect could be. I mean, people used to always joke around in the past saying, oh yeah, Kyoka Suigetsu is going to chaos the entire enemy team round one you know and stuff like that you know it'd be honestly pretty broken if it chaos the <laughs> entire team round one like that would be so stupid um it would be pretty funny to watch though if you actually admit but the thing is like you when you realize how broken rage and jaka is the 30 percent mutilate and ignite damage based on your hp it kills your like entire team pretty much because it's 30 percent and 30 percent so, it does so much damage. Like, it can pretty much almost kill your your partners. And that's the thing I really don't understand because the percentages for Mutilates and Ignites aren't always exactly correct. It seems like it, those kind of things, the status effects have a chance of critting or maybe some other, like, weird phenomenon. Uh, who knows, like, honestly, what's going on? Like, uh, nobody really knows. It's just sometimes it does way more damage than it's supposed to. Um, I forgot I have to take off, like, everything for this. So, I'm still stuck with my team. You know, it's, I, I, I can't I have to admit it, like, Bleach has definitely been a lot less enjoyable than it was. And over the course of time, it's really just, you know, it keeps it keeps diminishing even more and more. Um, but, you know, it's just something that I really put a lot of work into when it came to my channel. You know, I moved from Unlimited Ninja to Bleach, and I just found Unlimited Ninja really boring, and Bleach really kept me going into the browser games. So there was a point where I, like, just could not stop playing Bleach. I had... You know, an insane amount of three months put into the game where I was non-stop having fun. And there, there was nothing boring as far as the game goes. But the thing is, once you stop spending 
And once you get pretty, you know, bad merges and stuff like that, all these kind of variables have a pretty much impact on how you play the game. So at this point, I honestly don't know what I would do. And since they kind of killed Bankai Power, since we're not all grouped up in the same servers, it honestly, like, just takes away the factor of, like, okay, maybe over time, I could have just been recharging 25 a week to get, like, $100 worth of gold uh, for that. And then over time, get something cool, you know? But they really just took that away from me now. And I really don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs> I really don't know what I'm going to do. So I'll still keep playing, still keep doing the Bleach videos. You know, I want to keep the Bleach Online community alive because I know a lot of people moved on from Bleach and completely just killed the game off. They don't even want to play it or, or just anything, you know, not even videos. So I'm really trying to still keep the game going for everybody else and, you know, give some information. Because honestly, even though I don't play Bleach Online like how I used to, I, I still pretty much have, I guess, the same kind of analysis when it comes to the game. I still understand how the game works. You know, I still like, like when it comes to Bleach, I don't even have to play the game. And I can still know what to do, what to look out for, like what partners and stuff to go for. So it's just nice to bring you guys some info from from week to week, even though it's not like how I used to. I'm, I, can you actually remember, for those of you who've been watching Bleach, especially like the loyal ones who are still here, um, it's been, like I've started my YouTube channel I, almost a, it's been almost a year and 13 days from now will be an entire year so for those of you who've been with me since march when i first started my bleach videos like i i remember doing bleach videos every day then when i went to brazil i was doing bleach videos and streams like every day so i put so much time into the bleach side and then you know kind of when everything changed when i went on vacation that was the first time i vacationed in 11 years which i couldn't believe you know i went to florida in July, and that was my first vacation in 11 years. Um, I had a great time, and then right after I came back from Florida, you know, Naruto Online, well, Naruto Online actually came out when I was in Florida. The resort Wi-Fi was so bad, I could not play it because it kept disconnecting me. So I just, you know, waited to start Naruto Online when I came home. And then, you know, once I went to Naruto Online, it just kept blowing up. And the more I played Naruto Online, the more I kind of put everything aside. But at least I'm still trying to do one video a week. Um, maybe with the new Brave Souls videos, that will compensate for you Bleach fans. Personally, if you really want to enjoy a Bleach game, I'll just go to Bleach Brave Souls. I find it way more fun. It's not even like pay to win. You know, I I can say I spent like a very, very small fraction of what I spent on any game on Bleach Brave Souls. And I've played Bleach Brave Souls for an entire year now. I started last year, January. I didn't play the entire year. You know, I took breaks. I probably t t had half a year of breaks and I played the other half. But it was, honestly, the game still keeps me going. You know, every time something new comes out, new characters, um, per, you know, you can farm orbs pretty good just by farming the characters. And I think I fucking spent gold. No, I, I, I don't think I did. Or actually, I can't tell. So, like, the freaking monitor is basically towards the sun and the sun is beaming right now. So I can't see my entire screen. And that's what I'm doing the video off of. Uh, but definitely, like, give Bleach Brave Souls a try. Even if mobile games aren't your thing, or if you don't have a phone, just get an emulator. You know, I use Droid 4X. It's very heavy on the CPU, but it never gives me any problems. Um, I tried using Nox emulator, it doesn't work, and Bluestacks is by far the worst emulator I ever used. So Bleach Brave Souls, if you're a Bleach fan like me, you know, even, even after all the things that Bleach has been through, you know, the games, the lack of support in the games, um, you know, the anime just being cut off, and the bleach and uh, the bleach ending from the manga just being totally not what I expected or wanted, and still like leaving a lot of unanswered questions. I still love bleach, so I'm, I'm really hoping that it gets some sort of support in the future. Honestly, like something, continue the anime, um, just bring us something. You know, bring us an official game. Hopefully, as you know, it's kind of too much to ask for, but an official game would be honestly so good. I would honestly love to go there. And I glitched my screen, but I'm honestly, like, I just don't want to refresh. You know, screw it, I don't need to refresh. Alright, but the idea of an official Bleach game, it would be so good. And, you know, compared to Oasis Games, which runs the Naruto side, their support isn't perfect, and the game, even though it's, it's a lot more free-to-play friendly than Bleach Online, trust me. Like, people don't, people complain about the free-to-play life over there. I mean, they haven't seen the free-to-plays that have been playing on Bleach Online for, like, two years now, so... They really are missing out when it comes to that. Uh, but wow, I can actually get a level 50 exclusive Hikifune. That is something I did not expect. You know, I've been playing for a long ass time. And to see a 50 exclusive 
20 more for exclusive skill is honestly going to be a long time. But that's what I really wanted to go for. You know, I wanted to get exclusive skill in Hikifune because she gives fury, or no, she gives uh, invincibility, drops enemy fury, and gives you fury. So that's why I really wanted to get the exclusive skill. But unless you're buying exclusive frags, it's going to be a very long time. And I'm really, I'm really a long time away from my 10k exclusive frags on top of that. So I get my yearly sign in 54 days. And I made sure just to like already sign in late just to cover through all that. And uh, I didn't sign into, I didn't register for CSB. Uh, you know, thanks to Yojimbo for telling me to register for CSB when it was there on the 8th. I haven't done CSB since I registered, you know, I'm still at 5k points. So, you know, I really should be doing CSB. Because my only chance of revival in this game is if I ever get this Mukin Aizen. You know, he has insane, like, PvE-wise, he'll be a god. Highest damage in, in the game for an Assaulter as far as PvE. And the strength growth rates are just insane. But when it comes to anything other than that, I really just don't know what's going to happen. Um, but, you know, definitely give Bleach Bracelets a try. You know, still play Bleach Online. I'm telling you guys to quit or anything. But if you really want to get an enjoyable game, I, you can also try Dia Rankar. But personally, I just would avoid it. I I, I didn't like the Arena card. It's like another pay-to-win game for the phone. Like it's like it's like Bleach Online, but on a very very small scale that involves like one character. So I will just avoid that completely. But Brave Soul is amazing game for Bleach fans. Um, they're getting you know, uh, they're gonna get the Koga, Ka, whatever like Koga Muramasa banner from the filler arc. That's the next new one coming out. And then after that, we'll get like the Riruka banner with. Time skip Rukia for all you Rukia guys. And then in the future, like, there's just a lot of stuff going on. You know, I've been playing it for a year now. I've spent bare minimum compared to all the other browser games I started over the course of a year. And I've still enjoyed the game. Lots of characters, lots of things to hope for. Um, but that's going to be it for the Bleach video, guys. You know, honestly, it's it's hard to keep them going. I don't, I don't really want to drag them on and, and keep them, you know, repeating stuff. And honestly, there's, like, nothing to do. Um, so... I still have stuff to go through. I did actually, I didn't go through the mail. So let me just go through the mail. I'll see you guys next week with a Bleach video. Halfway into those events though. I really don't know when I'm going to do it. And I still have a, you know, I have to record other videos for for today. So it's going to be, a, you know, it's going to be a lot of stuff to go for. So I just want to apologize, but, you know, still trying to get the videos going for you guys. Hopefully all of you have a great week until next time. And I'll, I'll see you guys then.